I hope you have heard that. And this is what our bike would sound like when we start with our day. So we would like to go ahead with it and introduce ourselves to put in our idea. So I'm Preeti and this is Sid and this is Tita and this is Marius. So our focus would be to uh, enhance the user friendliness and the interface. So going ahead with the day of a biker, we would like to introduce the bike safety. So as you have heard that the uh, voice said, okay, now I'll start your seating system. Now I'll make sure that your brakes and everything is set. So that's our main motto of bringing the bike safety over here. And you could also uh, unlock your bike using your fingerprints. And next would be your personal safety. Okay, then now you're going to your work. And then now you want to see, okay, how much is my heart rate in the morning? And then how much is it by the end of the day? So you can monitor that by our miles. And then you can send an SOS by, by chance if you trip in a day. And then you have like no other contact. And then your app or the bike will help you send an SOS like any other car does. So, and that is the, uh, our, one of our applications. Along with it, we would like to, we plan to introduce uh, noticing the terrain information using our uh, gyro and accelerometer sensor but we wouldn't do much of learning over that, but we would like to in the future. So coming over to the usability, we would like to introduce a joystick on the bike because making the bike much more smart is our main motor. So we would uh, introduce a joystick that can, uh, like when a phone is placed in front of your... Uh, uh, navigate the app, basically. Yes. Uh, also, uh, know the intensity of the lights. And customer value because you have to know the usability like uh, how friendly the app is to use and maintenance we would like to know the battery status and also the pressure uh, uh, pressure of the tire that we could monitor by the end of the day or during any time that our app gives the information about so going over to the architecture and how we would like to implement so we use three kinds of sensors for now to test. We use a photoresistor to monitor how the light intensity of it is so that our backlight and front light will respond according to it. We have a read switch which uh, knows the contact of our brake and uh, glows behind light so that the uh, a person coming behind will get intended uh, according to it. And also we have a gyro and acceleration sensor as mentioned earlier. Thank you. Um, our initial plan was to, as, as you see, that we, we have approached uh, the problem in, in both ways, starting from the sensors data from the bike and also using the cloud solutions to uh, help uh, to communicate with those data. Uh, our initial plan was to use the AWS IoT to have the NVTT service and then connect it with the Lambda to have the data saved in DynamoDB and also use the SNS to push that message to the app. Uh, we got stuck in the uh, in, in between in Cognito. Uh, played with rules and policies, but somehow we got out, got the data from IoT devices, uh, but could not de develop the Lambda part. Two minutes, guys. Yep, yes. and uh, then uh, we also developed the app part where we can display the data. My use can be first. Yes. Presentation of this? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a demo of the um, demo video of the app. Uh, it's hard, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Just uh, just to play the video is okay. But yeah, so we built this interface. So basically, we said like it should be something simple. You use your fingerprint, then you basically you can unlock the, the bike or whatever. Uh, I guess you need the lock, so you can actually think of this or think. It's